Ready? Yeah. DRD, what, what DRD is, is it's a, it's a piece of rope inside of our gear for easier for uh, another firefighter to grab and pull mm -hmm. to help firefighters to get firefighters out. What it does is there's a little spot right here on the back of your gear where you can see where it sets at. Okay, what it does, it actually goes down in, in here, inside here. Under my arm. It goes underneath her arms and it actually pulls. And on my chest. And on her chest. And it pulls. Under your under your gear and see if we can actually see it. And you can actually see. You but you all, it's actually the new the new manufacturers just came out with these these designs, and you can actually see what a DRD it hooks underneath their arms. It's actually made into the fire uh, and into the jackets. And it's easy for anybody to use, and what it does it just sits up. And anybody, any firefighter can, can use it. Um, you, can, you can even use it. You come up to a house fire, yeah. and you're first one there, and you see someone right there by the door, needs to be, is down. And if you got a set of gear on, reach over behind her and look behind her neck. You can pull. The main reason for it is if you don't have webbing. So what she was using, as you've seen, to catch their air packs, uh, is actually webbing. Yeah, so we learn how to make harnesses to drag victims out. But if we don't have something like that, um, so like a web, or webbing. This is this is how this is how you do a. This is how you do an R D R D. It's a shoulder strap. It's a shoulder, it's a shoulder harness. Okay, so you drag a victim out like this. Um, somebody that didn't have a DRD. Yeah. But our DRDs are built into our gear as a shoulder harness. That way we don't have to get our webbing out or if somebody doesn't have webbing, you can just drag a firefighter out by their gear and you don't have to de dock their gear. Uh, it's easier to get out, as you can see, as soon they were having a hard time dragging me out, and then as soon as he found my DRD, it was like cake work. Yeah. It's something, it's something, it, you know, it's like if a house was actually on fire and if a firefighter is down, you're not going to think of that first off. Yeah. Try to get them back a little bit where you can get away from the danger zone. Then if they're still down, you can use the DRD and go ahead and get them out. Uh, your main, your main thing is, is you follow the holes in, you follow the holes out. That's your number one. That, that, that hose line will get you out of the building. Mm -hmm. In, it's also, you're, you're taking the hose in. And then you're going to know your way back out. Because when the house, when the house is smoked up and fired up, mm -hmm. and it's totally fire, you can't really see in there. Our, our helmet lights that we have, we can't see. Uh, the new guy, the new, uh, the new gear, like we have in pool, we actually, on our air packs, we actually got a camera on our yeah. air packs and everything. You got to see one of them yeah. last time you was in pool. Yeah. But thanks for coming. All right. And I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration. Yeah. We'd love to have you. You guys are more than welcome to come back anytime. You hear that? Come back down here. They want to see you, and they will explain things to you, ask questions. <laughs> yeah. And the ball of court is for everybody to come down here and see. Join right. them, show the support, get out. You know, like I said, your local fire department is always here for you. Yep. So if you have any questions, come feel free to come and see them and talk to them. Yep. It's a CJ the Traveler Man signing out. <laughs>